These have been with me for, whoops. <laughs> this one broke. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another video. So we're gonna make a quick video here about swim caps. There are three types that you need to know and uh, one is worth getting. Uh, I wanted to make this video because uh, I wish somebody taught, told me this about swim caps when I first started swimming a long time ago. It would have saved me a hassle because uh, yeah, there, there's a, it's gonna affect your swimming a lot. There are three types of materials that you need to be aware of when you're shopping for a swim cap. Uh, the most common one that you see uh, that I'm holding right now in my hands are these. These are silicone swim caps. Silicone is just like as it's described. It's silicone. It's made out of silicone. It is very, very strong. And you'll notice when you're swimming in a pool, local pool, you notice a lot of girls wearing silicone swim caps. And I'll tell you why. Silicone is very malleable, as you can see, okay? I can I can stretch it as far as wide as possible. So if you have lots of hair bundled up underneath your cap, go for a silicone swim cap, okay? This will cover most of your hair underneath, right? And keep it nice and tidy. The problem with silicone swim caps, though, is that uh, it is very thick, okay? It's just like the material itself. It's very thick. So when you're swimming a lot of laps, like a ton of laps, like, like I do, like hundreds and hundreds of laps, it's gonna, it's gonna build up, it's gonna catch up to you. And what I'm saying is that this thickness covered over your head is gonna produce a lot of heat. But if you're a guy, then I recommend getting latex swim caps. Now, I don't have my latex swim cap here because it just ripped just, just yesterday, okay? And that's the problem with latex, okay? so. Silicone is thick, it's durable, but it's very heavy and it'll produce a lot of heat because, you know, <clears throat> when you're, just imagine like you're, you're running, right? All that heat is dissipating out of your head, okay? And that heat has nowhere to go because it's trapped underneath something like this that's, that's pressed against your skin. So it's going to be very uncomfortable. Plus, another thing I, I haven't told you that. This is a real pain in the ass to take off. Especially when you have long hair, it's like ripping your hair out of your scalp for some girls, okay? It's that painful. So be aware of that if you get a silicone swim cap. Latex is just like, as you see here, this is a latex dishwashing glove, okay? <laughs> the gloves that you wear when you wash dishes are made of the same material that latex swim caps are made of. And what you notice is that latex is very thin. As you can see, it's very thin, but it's not as stretchy stretchy as this guy. But the advantages of latex is that it doesn't produce that much heat and it's lighter. So I prefer latex for long distance swimming because I want the lightness of my head and I don't want to overheat. And uh, yeah, it's, it's ideal for guys with short hair. Now the problem with latex, like you have here with dishwashing gloves, is that these guys don't last that long. They, they break a lot and you go through a lot of dishwashing gloves, I, I bet, you know, throughout the year. So for me, I go through like a latex swim cap like once every two to three months, actually. It's that like fragile. Especially when you take it off, you have to be very careful when you take off latex. And the slightest, you know, little ding or that, it just tears. And just the whole cap is just unusable from then on in. So latex, they're cheaper. They're like 10 bucks, swim caps. But they don't last that long. They last about two or three months if you're an avid swimmer like me. So if you don't want to go through that hassle, then just stick with silicone, because silicone will last you a lifetime, okay? These guys will not break. I mean, these, these have been with me for, oops. <laughs> this one broke. <laughs> As you can see, you should, don't do what I just did there, okay? 
But these guys will last you a lifetime. But yeah, that's, those are the two main competitors, latex versus silicone. And you're probably wondering, well, what about spandex? Okay, spandex, I'll, I'll just give you the quick beef about spandex. Spandex is worn by old ladies that don't know how to swim. It's stretchable, it's porous, the water goes through the material. You put it on top of your head, it's just there to keep your hair in place and not flying all over the water. That's it. Okay, it's not good for swimming laps. It's good for old ladies that want to keep their heads above the water at all times and their hair neatly bundled as they move around in the pool like this. Okay, so if you're an old lady that swims like this, my grandma is guilty of this, then yeah, go get spandex, okay? But it's not good for lap swimming. What's good for lap swimming is latex. For guys with short hair and silicone for girls with long hair that want to keep their hair nice and tidy. I hope this video has helped. Uh, let me know what type of swim cap you wear or material that you use and you prefer and why. And uh, if you haven't, uh, join our swimming group that's down below. Download the ebook that's down below. And uh, ask your questions down below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.